they would exhume the body if they had to, to find out if there was something that they missed. If they, but it would have to be some incredible information. That Diddy. Diddy. <laughs> Kim Porter, which is his uh, wife, ex-wife, mother of his kids. Right. There's this whole internet lore, rumor, because we don't know if, you know, obviously this happened. She died of, I think she was sick or whatever. Pneumonia. I think she died of pneumonia. Right. Now, the internet has created, because there's nothing to support this, nothing, you know, um, other than, oh, she was coming out with a book and to tell all everything of her situation or secrets about Diddy. Folklore, to my, in my opinion. People say, oh, the, uh, reopen her case. Well, how, what, what is there to reopen? There's nothing, you know what I mean? Well, I, let's put it this way. I think there was an autopsy done, if I'm correct. I, I'm pretty sure there's an autopsy done of her, her, her death. The medical examiner ruled that she died of complications with pneumonia. The only way I see this case going anywhere is if there was some unearthed new information that came about her being poisoned or giving a lethal drug or a combination of drugs, which would have caused that. Right. But again, I'm not a doctor, yeah. so I can't say I know. But uh, right now, the Internet's created this buzz about not only her, but Andre Harrell, Heavy D, I'll be sure. Right. There's a lot of people that are, 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 are got sick or got ill, Jamie Foxx, that got ill. And, and they're, they're alluding to the fact that they might have been poisoned or they might have been given some sort of drug that caused them to be ill. Right. Unless they have credible information that this occurred, they're not going to pursue it that much. They probably looked into it. But remember, the toxicology reports already come back on these, these deaths. Right. I'm sure they were done because of their ages or whatever. Maybe not with Andre and Harrell. Right. But... The doctors list the cause of death as this. Now, if there was something more suspicious, then they would do a uh, dig up the body, possibly. Right, right. We had a com uh, personal conversation yeah. about that off camera. They would dig up the body and they would redo some other tests. But again, I don't know at this particular time if that's been a proven fact that Diddy had something to do with this. Yeah, I just want to make that clear. Right, and we don't we don't know that yet. So I want to put that out there that we don't know. We have to wait and see. Right. Um, let's talk about a little of that more about, let's say, for example, digging up the body of Kim Porter. Is this even like in, in, in that type of situation where, OK, this suspicion of uh, law, law enforcement sus, uh, uh, suspect that he had something to do or maybe, you know, with the death of Kim Porter, they would dig up her body and what, re-examine it? They would exhume the body if they had to to find out if there was something that they missed. If they, but it would have to be some incredible information that right, he was they, injected with a drug right. or the doctor missed out on maybe a needle mark in the arm or something where they could pinpoint where it went. Or They'd have to have some new information to, in order to do that. They have to get a court order from a judge explaining why they need to exhume the body and bring it up to re-examine it. But I'm pretty sure they they've probably, or they can get the medical examiner's reports or you know, from the doctors, uh, from the body. Because remember, every doctor has to sign off on a death right. and say the cause of death was either natural or unnatural. Right, right. Foul play or... Foul yeah. play or whatever. Right. I, I mean, people are going to watch this interview like, these two are getting paid by Diddy. <laughs> because no, it, it, people, listen, people have always said this, that, oh, this guy's Diddy's body. I'm down as Diddy's bodyguard too. <laughs> Somebody mentioned that also. And people just make stuff up. I, I don't know how, you know, it's like they make it up just to make themselves look good. I was never Diddy's bodyguard. We, they arrested Diddy. We, I had to assist in the arrest of him because of the crimes that were committed at the time. You know, the Club New York shooting, the Steve Stout beatdown, you know, things like that. There were other things that I looked into Diddy about with, back way before he became as big as he did. You know, the, the, the stampede up at the... Uh, uh, the college right. in Harlem, the um, the Bat East Coast West Coast rift, some of the things that he did while he was the president of Bad Boy. A lot of things came across my desk that I looked at, and then you got to understand something. Like I try to tell people, this is the industry of music that somehow is more violent than others, and I explained that to the chief and the police commissioner. Why? Because. 
You're taking kids from inner cities and you're bringing them in on the map. They're making a lot of money right now. And if you notice, the murders with some of these rap artists, even now with social media being as big as it is, is still continuing. Right. It's still continuing where you have these obscure rappers that are, I said, what's his name? Who is he? Well, he got one million likes on social media. He's a new rapper. And then you say to yourself, like, I never heard of this guy. And then you find out who he is. And he's a social media star. Right. And sometimes social media right now is bigger than people on TV. People recognize people more from social media than they recognize them from television, actors. And they've complained of this, you know. But it's just the way of the world right now. It's the way that our country is going and how we have this interaction with television and, and media. And things become in real time. I remember I showed you earlier fights with girls, right? right, right. Guys getting shot and a, and a rapper getting shot in Philadelphia. Things get posted on these internet and we have an interactive thing with people that people see all of this. And there's nothing that's really sacred so much because they post about so many different things all the time. Right, right, right. Going back to the final thing about Kim Porter, because I remember during our conversation, a private conversation about this, I was like wondering how the fuck, how are you gonna exude a body like take you know out, out of the grave or whatever? Like her, I'm pretty sure it'd be nothing but bones. Or nothing. Yeah, but they can tell from DNA. DNA is big right now. Mm. We have DNA methods that they use now for everything. So, but again, there would have to be something that right, right. would come about for them to want to exhume that body, disturb that body. Right. And you know, people would object to that. Like you know, why are you disturbing my daughter's body? Let her rest in peace. Right. So it, it's up to something that would come in the case that's really crucial that they would come up with and say, oh, wow, we have this new information and this right. is what it is. We need more than just Instagram posts. Right, Instagram posts are not going to just do it. Theories are theories. And don't get me wrong, I'm not going to say the feds are not looking into it or investigating it with the people they interview, but right now we just don't know.